Hey everyone, Ami here and in this video we are again going to look into local stack and this time we are going to try out the AWS SNS connector for MuleSoft and see how you can configure it to use the notification service in local stack and develop your Mule app. So let me share my screen. So basically Again, when we are here on local stack, um, if you go to the features, the SNS simple notification service is part of the open source um, for local stack. Yeah, so this is included in the free version. There might be a couple of things you would like to try out which are in the pro version, then you have to uh, use one of the um, paid subscription enterprise or pro but for this video we can use the sns service for aws and try out our mulesoft connector if it really works against local stack um, in order for me to understand the sns uh, cli uh, i had to play around a bit so one recommendation if you want to try this out on the command line, uh, go to AWS CLI command reference for SNS. There you will find all the different commands uh, which are supported and you can play around with it using local stack. Okay, so for us to get started first, what we need to do is we are going to, let me go back here. So we need to go to the command line again. And first thing I need to do is install local stack. Uh, if you have not done it, you can do it and um, start it obviously. Yeah? So I have already installed it. So I'm going to start it from here. So with this, it should now start look stack. So it started. And as a next step, what I can do again is I can uh, do the AWS configure, not here. It should be done on the second command line, AWS configure. I set the different values. So access key is mule, secret key is mule, region is defined, output is JSON. This is fine. So I don't need to change here anything. And I also will set the alias. So I don't need to provide always the endpoint URL for my local stack. So this is HTTP localhost running on 4566. Okay. And now I can try with AWS SNS help, or let's say we go with list topics. I think something like this, there should be. Yes, so you can see we don't have any topics here and the service is mocked on the same port. 4566. So now we can go into Mule and see how we can use the SNS connector. Okay, so in MuleSoft, let me resize it again so we can see it part of the screen. So same I will do for Postman. So we don't miss anything here. All right. So now let's go to MuleSoft, any point studio, I will create a simple project. And let's say this is local stack, uh, SNS, AWS SNS, AWS SNS. Yes, so this is the try and we will click here on finish. So what we are going to do is using the simple notification service, we are going to create a new topic. Yeah, so it is described here. So first of all, we are going to create topic. We will list the topics, see if uh, MuleSoft is able to see the different topics we have uh, created. We will create a sub, uh, subscription, um, try to confirm the subscription and as well list our subscription we, which we have uh, so far. So this is what we are going to try here. But in order uh, in MuleSoft to get the SNS connector, you need to go to Exchange and write down here AWS, I think. So in AWS, no, it's not there. So you need to look for SNS. So SNS is found. 
get it over, finish, and it will be installed into this project. And the first thing we need to do is we first need to create the SNS configuration. This is important. Again, in the general tab, we can enter mule. Same for mule here, uh, default region. We, we will leave it as is. Now the important part is here the in advanced tab, the custom service point. Here we will just enter our local stack point. And I have experienced, we can try with local host. Uh, it may work. Um, and if you want to test the connection, so you need to provide here a test topic, which I don't have. So you will get an error. Like I will also receive here an error, which is okay for now. We'll just confirm it and the configuration is safe. Yeah? So as a next step, we are going to create a HTTP listener and let's directly create a topic. Yeah? So we will say it's create topic first and we are going to insert the default configuration. This is fine. And let's create a simple topic. Let's say we create a topic called any point is the name of our topic. And we would like to get a transform message back. So I will receive here a transform message, convert it to JSON payload. That's it. And I will just start the project so it can already start working. Yeah, it says that currently another instance is running. So I just need to stop the other one. Okay. So now I can start my project. This is good. So while it is starting up, I will create a new Postman request. And let's say localhost 8081, we said create topic. Um, we didn't parameterize the name of the topic, so this is completely fine. It is deployed, so let's go here. So this is our topic we have created. And now what we can do is in order to test really the configuration, we can copy it from here, postman, go to our configuration item again and paste it here and now test connection. It should be successful now because now we have an existing topic there, which is cool. And as a next step, we can now add an additional listener to list all the topics we have. List topics. Um, for list topics, there is another uh, SNS method here, list topic, just drag and drop into your canvas. Use the core components to transform your message. You can see I'm doing it really simple uh, just to show you that those different methods are working. Save it and we have the list topic implemented. It has started to compile, it's there, so now let me duplicate this and say, instead of create, we do list topic. Okay, no uh, endpoint list topics with S at the end. Now we can see we have our topic created here. So this is fine. As a next step, let's do a subscribe to the topic. Again, we insert a new listener and say subscribe. So now I have this uh, topic, I can subscribe via email, via phone number. So there are different things you can apply, different uh, delivery formats, uh, also devices and applications can subscribe um, and will be notified if uh, there is any notification for this topic. So we just will create a simple subscription for it. So let's go into here into the methods, find subscribe, drag and drop into your canvas. Okay, so now we can continue. So the topic on we have is the one which I have copied. Here you can see the different things I can, uh, protocols I can use. 
in order to subscribe. So uh, with email, I have not configured it. Yeah, so it will not really bring anything. Just list in the um, subscription that I have been subscribing to this topic. That's it, nothing more. So let's enter here a transform message so we can receive the confirmation, payload, save. And we can go back into Postman, duplicate, and let's say subscribe to topic. What was it subscribe? What did I select? Subscribe without anything. So subs subscribe like this, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So now fire it. You can see you receive something here, which is okay. We have a token received as well. So let keep it open for now and I will confirm the subscription. So again, I will need to have a listener and I'm not sure if this really works like this. You, you normally would receive an email, yeah, which in my case is not set up. So I did not receive an email and in the email you will find a link if you do it with the AWS service. And when you click on the link, then the subscription is confirmed. But in my case, I will just say confirm subscription um, via, let's see, confirm subscription via method. And this method will use the target arm and the token. And at the end, I will also use the transform message to see what is happening. So enter the payload here, save it, and let's see. We duplicate the tab, and this time we say confirm. So it is okay, 200 okay. Didn't receive any error message. This is good. So now let's say as a next step, we are going to list all the different subscription we have. And so we already listed the topic. So let's say list subscription. And in the list subscription, I will just call the subscription topic here. Yeah, and it will basically return based on the configuration, all subscription, which I have for my configuration in place, JSON, let's say payload. So will be super simple now. And let's see if we are able to see something. If we go again, duplicate tab, list subscription. And here you can see that this is exactly the thing which I've entered. Um, it's the protocol email, the email is in, and the topic on is in. Yeah, so this is the request ID. And now if I want, I can delete all this. So let's go for one deleted uh, topic. Then we can see that we are able to delete as well. So it's really acting like a mock for your AWS uh, simple notification service. So I will just delete topic, the whole thing. So I don't need to care about the rest. And here I can say delete topic, enter the topic here, which is, this is the topic on. And so you have to put it really in this way because when you created a topic, you just entered the name, but in order to delete name will throw an error, you have to really put it in the way how it is resolated. And once you have done it, just again, we see the confirm message and then we will see if it is still displayed under the list topics or not. Okay, so this is going to compile now. Done. Let me duplicate and say delete 
topic. Hit. So, okay, this good. So we can see here, we shouldn't be able to see any topics there. So it's empty. If I would create a new topic, you would see it's there, but I would not have any subscription here it's empty so i would need to create a subscription first of all subscribe and then confirm and now i'm able to see the subscription so that's how simple it is uh, with the any point connector for sns uh, amazon sns you can use local stack configuration. There might be services uh, which you cannot use with the open source edition. So let me go back maybe to local stack. So you may have here features in the open source like EC2 or Dynamo DB, um, Lambda functions or any other thing which uh, MuleSoft is using the SDK for, and you are not able to uh, provide a custom endpoint there using the connectors. In such case, um, you can go with the Pro Edition because the Pro Edition provides a DNS uh, resolution. So you can also cover everything which is with the with the, the custom DNS, yeah, so integrate, integrated security with custom DNS. So everything which is then using the SDK and going to the standard uh, URL endpoint of AWS will be emulated through this DNS and uh, mocked through local stack. But the majority of the connectors is working in the open source. So try it out and provide feedback. That was it. Thanks a lot.